Now I'm standing barefoot, by the way, creating an energetic circuit as I stare at the moon through my iris into my third eye and pineal gland. My feet are connected to the earth, grounded, and a energetic circuit is commenced. The full moon is always 180 degrees away from the sun, so in direct opposition, no matter where you are on our flat realm, that's where the full moon is in relation to the sun, always 180 degrees away from the sun in the compass. Polaris being zero degrees. And tonight, the moon came towards me at 129 degrees southeast. That is the lowest, widest moon of the year for its arc beyond the Tropic of Capricorn. And then it will start to wane and gradually get closer and closer to the sun. And it does this every month. It gets as far away from the sun as possible when it is full. And then new moon always back to the sun. Always. different every month as well as the sun moves between the tropics the moon has some sort of relationship with the sun causing it to be full every 28 and so days and it's not reflecting sunlight to the extent by which they tell us. Perhaps the ratio is, my hypothesis is, 90% self-illuminated, self-luminous, and 5% sunshine. And, no, let's say, okay, 85% self-luminous, 10% sunshine and 5% earthshine. What do you think? How do I know it's self-luminous? Well, you'd have to do some tests, but the theory is that, and it's actually being tested, but I always like to test things for myself, is that moonlight is cooler than moon shade. And if they say that the moon is being lit because of the sun on the heliocentric model and the moon is becoming fully lit that to me presents a problem with how moonlight could be cooler than moon shade and I will devise a test it has to do with water in glasses and we'll go from there fun test to try. I'm going to definitely check out that bird that had a very unusual flight seem to go backwards. Okay, I saw where it was. I think it was a weed on the tree. Not to double check though. Look at that, wow. Zero shimmering. Maybe just a little.
<laughs> insects, insects on the moon. <laughs> Or is that Buzz Aldrin f buzzing about, or Elon Musk f flooring it on the, in the Tesla? What a joke! It's not a dusty rock. I keep saying it. <laughs> No golf course up there, no telephone system. It's close to us, it's small. It's amazing. Strawberry moon, full as can be. June 14th, 85 kilometers wide <laughs> and the moon is sometimes as wide as or as far as 286,000 miles away they claim do you see the problem with the optics there's no chance that that moon is that far away the moon is close that's the Tycho crater the center portion they are claiming to be 85 kilometers wide. My camera has a tough time focusing on things 50 miles away let alone 286,000 miles away. <laughs> Looking into the Tico crater, supposedly with my super natural Nikon. <laughs> the B1000 here is just amazing. That was Elon Musk for sure. What a lying piece of <laughs> putting a Tesla in Earth orbit. Give me a break. They're lying about everything to do with space. Looks like veins. Wow. See faces too. Eyes. <laughs> Who knows? It's an amazing mystery, the moon. We're gonna figure out what it is. Yes, we are. <laughs> we are not gonna stop. 
The deception has gone on too long. Time for the truth to shine. The two darkest areas of the moon, right there. Is it transparent? Certainly intriguing to think about. Kind of looks like it could be. Multi-layered. Could be just the light interesting though okay so just continuing documenting where the moon rose tonight so that is a rise at 129 degrees the lowest widest arc of the year for the moon so that is below the Tropic of Capricorn again. There's the Tropic of Capricorn, approximately. There's the equator. Okay, so moon update, it's three hours after rise. So one and a half finger thumbs for three hours of moon movement when it is on a very low arc. For me, it was at 129 degrees. So that very low arc has a three hour movement of one finger thumb for future reference. Be interesting to see the, how fast the moon moves when it's on the equatorial line or the line of uh, Tropic of Cancer. It's all relative to perspective, right? The perceived speed of the moon. We're trying to figure out an average speed though. Be Interesting to calculate. Doing our own observations here on our flat realm.